Rachel. Where's Rachel? She's supposed to be representing the school. She's probably tucked away in her little cosy office if she's got any sense. <laughs> we better start. Can I have your attention, please? Come on! Thank you! As you probably know, this is the first time Hot and Probation Service has teamed up with us here at Woodside. I'm sure it'll be the first of many such occasions. Ooh, boring or what? We also have a team of volunteers from Hot and Comp. <laughs> Those of you who are still awake will have noticed I've used the word team twice. That is what this is all about. Teamwork. Working together. Growing as individuals by helping each other and working things out together. Any questions? I've got one. Good, fire away. Can we go to that boozer we passed? <laughs> no, and this is not a holiday. Anything else? Such enthusiasm. <laughs> Ooh. What do you reckon? It's very nice. Paddy, tonight's sale party is very important. Mandy, I'm gonna have to tell Ben. Oh, you better not. Well, how can I sit drinking with the lad and pretend I don't know? What difference does it make who the father of Kelly's baby is? I know it's Biff's, that's the difference. So? He's hardly your best mate. No, you are. And that's why I can't believe you've let this deception go on as far as it has. Well, it's Kelly's business. And Chris Tate's. Well, if he's soft enough to fall for it. And Biff's. He was glad that it wasn't his. It is his! The heart doesn't know. Oh, spare me the clichés, Mandy. You're worth more than that. You better not tell him. You promised! We're going to spend this morning orienteering. What's that when it's at home? Maybe you'd like to explain, Dean. Me? This young man has experience of orienteering and showed a good deal of courage on his last outing. Yeah, nearly killed himself. He also learned how important it was to follow instructions, didn't you, Dean? Yeah. And that's why he's going to be one of the team leaders. Come forward, Dean. What a wallet. I'm going to deck you, Big Mouth. I'll be a sec. You should make these aisles wider. Huh. I'll take it you're not bringing her back. I've come to collect some more things. Didn't plan all this, Vic. No, your family don't need to. Good things just sort of happen to you, don't they? It doesn't look like that from this chair. No. So, what are you after? Oh, silly question. You've already got it, haven't you? Look, I couldn't make Kelly do anything that she didn't want to. Oh, well, so what's she going to do then? Marry her or something? I didn't believe you got the nerve when she said you were here. Look, I think we should talk. A bit late for that, isn't it? Come on, I care for Kelly. Just go, Chris. No, Viv. Come on. You better come through. You celebrating a special occasion, Mr. Glover? No, I just thought it'd be nice to have a takeaway for a change, you know. I mean, I really aren't very good at cooking. So it's for two? Um, we'll be having friends, so say four. And what would you like? I don't know, what you got? Anything on the menu? Eh, uh, wanted something special, you know. What time are you eating? Not late. Seven? Tell you what, I'll do you the full Filipino banquet. Sounds grand. It also sounds very pricey. Oh, not to you. You're a good family. Linda always treated me with respect. It'd be my pleasure. Well, if you're sure. I have it delivered by seven. Great. Danny, I'm still not sure about a bunch of semi clad women prancing around our home. You know what? You must be getting old, Eric, lad. <laughs> I was hoping we might have a little uh, lie down before this evening. You're not still sore after the rollerblading, are you? Excuse me, you'd be sore if a couple of idiots threw you across the rink. I'll make it up to you when people have gone. Well, make sure it's not too late. Eh? Hey, and make sure they buy lots of wine. Mm -hmm. I might have known better you tell everyone about Jan coming out. No, she only told me because Jan's my mum-in-law. I don't mind you knowing, it's the rest. Especially Kim Tate. I mean, she's hardly forgive and forget type, is she? Even she must realise Jan had a breakdown. She was never going to hurt James. I still reckon the longer she didn't know, the better. But would you feel any happier if Kelly was pregnant by some lad from the village? Oh, we're supposed to be grateful it's not Butch Dingle or Roy Glover, are we? Well, he has got a point, Vic. She shouldn't be in that state. But she is. 
least I've had the decency to stick by her. Oh, yes, I wonder why. We would stick by her if she came back here. Yeah, but she doesn't want to, does she? And what's the alternative? Some grotty bedsit in Leeds. What are they saying? Look, we're still your parents. Let's have a bit of respect, shall we? All we're saying is that we want you back here with us, Kelly. I'm sorry. Come on, Chris. How come you volunteered to do this? Well, it beats skill, doesn't it? Come well, on, if we get a move on, we'll be able to beat other group. Big deal. So why are you doing it, then? To build my character. <laughs> Don't damage the trees, Sonny. How's it going, Dean? Fine. You're checking on us, aren't you? Yes. Rachel still hasn't arrived, so I'm going to have to track her down. How are you doing with this group? Fine, yeah, no problems. Good man. Good man. <laughs> right, come on, let's get moving. I vote we have a rest. Good thing, sir. Um, is it all right if I knock off a bit early today? Why? I just, just said uh, I've got something on myself. Like what? Well, that's my business. Not when you want time off. Well, you'd have to pay me. I'm not... Oh, I'll be paying you all right, because you'll be working. After that trick you played with the Cairns pony, you should be grateful you've got a job. The way can carry some, please. Any bike. Hey! You heard her. Take them up to the nursery flat. It's no justice, is there, Roy? Any bargains for early birds? Uh, you can wait till tonight. <laughs> I doubt you'll have anything in my line. Oh, we cater for all tastes and inclinations, if you get what I mean. I haven't got any inclinations. You bet. <laughs> hey, that's enough of that. I hope you're looking after my paddy. Oh, but he's driving me mental. Then they said it wouldn't last. Didn't this snoring keep you awake? Compared to my sets, it's like snowflakes falling on the carpet. <laughs> More like hailstones on a tin roof. <laughs> Interesting your reading then, Sam. Who told you that? I've not been round for a couple of days. You don't want me round. I never said that. You did? When? When you told me Dad. Oh, what's Zach been saying? You know. Sam, I never said I wanted to stop. I enjoy teaching you. Do you? Yeah, you're a brilliant student. Student. Honest. And it helps Alice with her work. Well, you don't think it's a good idea, me dad. But you do, though, don't you? Well, me dad always knows best, don't he? Forecast today, so please, if you're going out, don't forget to take your well. Oh. So you got a new friend, then? No, it's the Vickers. I'm lumbered with it while he's away. Can't stand being on its own, apparently. Ooh. Oh, ah, well, take him off the bar, then. Their droppings don't go down too well with pork scratchings. I knew I'd find you in here. Oh, well, I didn't mean to offend you. But I'm not the kind of fella who goes in for a cup of tea and a fancy cake. No, you're the type of fella who prevents his own son from learning to read. Prevent? Oh, never mind your fancy words. That lad has had his hopes raised too many times. You might not think much of us, but we're always there for him. When he's bullied and laughed at. Aye, by teachers, folks who should have known better. So don't you tell me what's right for him. But, Zach, he wants to learn. He wants what anyone tells him he wants. OK? I can't see Chris Tate being the father, can you? Who cares? Doesn't seem right, though, does it, if she's manipulating the situation? Paddy, I don't give her monkeys. Does eat nuts? What's going on? Um, this is Madonna. Another parrot? What's he been saying? Andy knows Kelly better than anybody. Why don't you ask her? Get some drinks in. Ask me what? Nothing. You've been stirring it? Just been talking. You've not told him, though? 
No, I didn't get a chance. Yeah, well, you best not. What's he doing with the flipping parrot? It's not easy. It's... Meet the new lodger. Uh, Mandy, this is Madonna. Madonna, this is Mandy. Of a toe. Well, don't bother then. I'm getting a tow rope. I should string you up with it. Well done. You're the first back. What, we even beat our wills lot? Yeah. Yes. You should all be proud of yourselves. What? For going on the walk like a bunch of boarding gets. Why are you such a cynic? He'd tell you if he knew what it meant. Well, Dean here used to be a cynic. What kept you? Will got lost. <laughs> you let him win, didn't you? Of course not. Yeah, you did. So they won't think you were a goody goody. And he did it so you get brownie points, Dean. Yeah. You mean brown nose points? Oh, what the heck? <gasps> I didn't think you were going to stop. I need to get past. Oh, that should do it. How do you sleep at night? You'll never know how much pain you've caused. Not just for me, for the children. Sarah, you don't need to tell me. Well, what am I supposed to do? Give you a tone, then wave you goodbye with a friendly salute? I know that what Jack and I did was wrong. It's still going on. No, it's not. It's over. No, it isn't over. Not for me and him. What do you mean? Work it out. Tell me. I can't stop seeing him with you. You can't keep blaming him. Can't I? No. It was my fault. I did all the running after my mum died. No more excuses, please. Then I decided, me, that I didn't want him to stop. Jack only ever loved you. Well, who's he with now? The children are important to him. Sarah... Why can't you accept that you're the one that he loves? Yeah, yeah, he made a mistake, but I made an even bigger mistake thinking that he ever loved me. You've got to believe me. If you and him are going to stand any chance. Hobson's choice. It's the truth. Off, will you? It's indecent assault, is it? Get off! Jed? You need to face so you don't get bed sore. I need to go home, and I won't have any at all. Paddy, you're just in the nick of time. Florence Nightingale here, just about to attack me with a pumice stone. I'll see to it. You do nothing of the kind. I'm just having a fella scrub me down. Women neither. I would let you bathe yourself, Mr. Althwaite. Only the last time I left him on his own, he tried to climb out through the window. Ah, well, I won't be going to wear my birthday suit now, will I? I'd probably get locked up. Which would be preferable to this perishing place? Well, you'd have a nice room by yourself if you moved into an home. Oh, go on, shove us into the workhouse. Not the workhouse? Well, you go live there, then. I'll leave you to it for a while. Yeah, well, thanks a bunch. Get me death of cold, here. Well, get into the bath, then. Oh, all right. But don't look. I'm not an invalid, Ned. Sorry, who's your coat? You could put your arm round me, though. I'd love to. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. <laughs> so what do you want for your tea? It's all sorted. Look, love, I know you're not an invalid, but, well, it's my treat. That'll be a good chip, sir. No, it's not. It's the taste of the Orient. Dee sends a takeaway up from the wine bar. Oh, that'll cost us. Hey, we can't celebrate tonight. 
I saw the car, so I thought you must be back. How are you, Jen? I'm all right. I just hope you'll be behaving yourself, Jack. Well, I can tell you're feeling better. <laughs> I am. What are you looking at? Nothing. That lad to a chilly. No wonder the time you're in there. Ah, uh, well, maybe I won't need one, but I want now. You know you can't stay here forever, Jed. Oh, do you think I want to? And your family can't accommodate you. <laughs> won't more like. Yeah, so you're going to have to move into a, a home. Workhouse? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'll just deliver this up to Glovers. And what are we paying Biff for? Sorry. He's not exactly flavour of the month up there, is he? Well, don't be all night. Oh, sorry, Mark. Eddie, here's a lager. You must tell me the name of that wonderful charm school you went to, old boy. What time does the knicker party start, I know? Ah, so that's why you've honoured us with your presence. Hey, did you all get the kids up when they're trashed up on and that? Of course, Dad. You're having his own, aren't you? Our man told us it were there. Yes, well, we didn't want word to uh, get out, you know, uh, police raids and all that, but seeing as you're here... I can stay. Ah, uh, play your cards right, and Betty Eggleton will spin her tassels for you, won't you? I heard that. <laughs> Eddie, um, where's going to be a good place to sit? Well, got a good uh, deal. Yeah, over there. I'll get your lager. Go on. Brilliant. You might have got dressed up. Tough. Why have you come? No, actually, I wanted to talk to you about Grandad. I'm having a night out. Well, you can't just leave him rotting in a hospital. <sighs> Maybe now everyone else will see how stubborn he is. Come on, girlies! Have I got an eyeful for you? <laughs> I will give you my expert opinion, girls. What's Butch Dingle doing here? Uh, Paul Sapp thinks uh, holding a fashion parade. <laughs> I'll go and tell him. I don't you dare. We'll be all set. Spring on the way, fresh starts all round. You don't think it's going to be quite that easy, do you, Jack? Oh, you'll be fine, Jan. You've got Ned and Roy. What about you? Oh, things aren't brilliant at home. At least Sarah's taken you back. Yeah, so she can play the martyr. Wow. What to expect after the way you treated her? I know I behave like an idiot. I don't need reminding every day. Oh, not a bit tickly. Look, why don't you save us something to eat, eh? I've ordered loads. Oh, I'd love to, Ned, but I'd best get back, I suppose. No, I think you should definitely get this. <laughs> well, I'll give you commission, Cathy. Might put a smile on your old man's face. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> See, that's the thing about sexy laundry, is even if you haven't got a bloke. I hope you're taking notes, Zoe. But cos you're wearing nice things, you feel better in yourself. Even if nobody sees it like. Man, it's better if they do. <laughs> well, I'd have to get run over before someone saw mine. Might be worth it. You get some dishy ambulance men. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're bothering, love. It's wasted on Eric. Do you mind? I'll give you this count because you provide it venue. Yeah. Now, if that lad were ten years old, I won't mind you bringing him home. Um, what should I do with this? <laughs> well, if you don't know now, you never will. <laughs> why don't you put it over there? Right. <laughs> Isn't there anyone you could get a present for, Willie? Um, sort of. Oh, it's our cursed, isn't it, Will? Um, I better get back downstairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it reflects really badly if staff don't turn up. But I'm not a member of staff. I'm only doing it as a favour. You didn't do any favours by not being there. I would have much rather been with you than where I was. Stuck in the middle of a stream getting someone off the hook. Who? Oh, it don't matter. So, how did the day go? Very well, actually. The chap from the probation was impressed. Well, it don't matter that I wasn't there, then. That's not the point. And now I'm a key worker down for tomorrow. The sports instructor's let me down. He's pulled something. How inconsiderate. Oh, sorry. Yes, ladies and gents. I'll get these. Hmm. Oh. You and the galloping major seem to be getting on very well. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just that you must be a bit of a loose end since Jack kicked you into touch. Yeah, that's right. Jack finished with me. We're just talking business. Oh. 
Sarah thought that when you and Jack were uh, talking business. Just get the drinks, Terry. Usual. <laughs> you fancy yourself as a bit of a sportsman, don't you? Well, a better one. You're talking to the winged wonder of Farsley. <sighs> Tony, I think I've got the answer to all your problems. Hey, girls, girls, you've still got your kits on. So do you. Yeah, well, where are you going? Home. Why? But, Butch, why do you think? Oh, what happened to the show? When's that going to be on? You missed it. Oh, you wouldn't believe what went on up there. Well, tell us. <laughs> well, we all love... Go on, tell no, us. Oh, don't, Kathy. You'll only upset him. Oh, come on, Zoe. You won't, honest. Oh, sorry, Butch. It's tell not us. fair on you. Night-night. Oi, Delia. You knew that show wasn't going to be on down here, didn't you? You've had me sat in here, supping this expensive ale all night. You could have said something, Marlon. Oh, I, I couldn't. We're not speaking, are we? They certainly could shift the wine. Ah, uh, in a minute, darling. Can't wait to get hands on the lolly. Uh, I'll take it up. There we go. Shift the sad item. I thought you were sceptical about all this team building. Well, not of them getting paid for it. I need people I can rely on. All right, you've made your point. I'm your man. All them years in the game, never miss kickoff. Not even with some of the worst hangovers known to man. I was always there on my toes. Ready to go. All right, all right. But can you handle a bunch of young tearaways? Yeah, if you knew some of the lads I played rugby with, <laughs> you wouldn't have to ask that question. Some of my best mates are tearaways. What a recommendation. Still, I suppose you'll have to do. Mm -hmm. He's a sweet talker, <laughs> isn't he? I've got something for you, Eric. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. Oh, I could have you edit, you know, under the trade descriptions act. Yes, yes, yes. Go home, Butch. That's nowhere to speak to a customer, edit. You're quite right, Butch. Thank I'm you going. very much indeed. Thank you. Good night. Good night. That calls for a brandy. Oh, cheers. For me. Oh, look at that useless article Will's left. Give this to D, will you? Just get pouring that brandy for me. Uh, of course. Leave it. I've nearly got it all. Go! Will, I said go! You look beautiful. Oh, please. Eric will be up soon. You don't want him to know about us, do you? I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Why didn't you walk out the room when I came in? What are you trying to do to me? I'm sorry, Dee. You left the... Well, uh, this has got to be worth the bottle of brandy, at least. <laughs>